God, in the name of Jesus, I just come giving you thanks and praise for this day. Thanking you that you woke me up. You clothed me in my right mind. You blessed me to get up this morning, putting one foot in front of the other. Father God, I pray for your people this morning, Lord. That someone that may be having a hard time right now, Lord. I pray that you just go there, that you touch, you lay your hands on them, Lord. That you will breathe in them, Lord. That you will let them know that you're there with them, Lord. That you never leave them or forsake them, Lord. Father God, give them the strength and the power to make it through the day, Lord. Someone that may be in pain right now, Lord. Ease that pain, Lord. Take that pain away in the name of Jesus, Lord. Someone that may be troubled in their minds, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you touch their mind right now with your grace, with your mercy, Lord, and with your power and strength, Lord, that they will be able to focus on today, Lord. Touch someone, Lord, that may be jobless today, Lord. Don't know where their next meal is coming from. But, Father God, I know that you are able to bring them into finding another job, Lord, or having means to eat, to protect to their family, Lord. So, Father God, I ask, Lord, that you touch them right now, Lord. Give them a peace of mind, Lord. Peace in their spirit, Lord, to just trust and lean on you, Lord, because you're the only one that can bring us through, Lord. So, Father God, I ask these prayers, Lord. And, Father God, I pray for our church family, Lord. I lift them up to you right now, Lord. Someone that may be struggling right now, Lord, that you just go to them and let them know that you're, you're there with them, Lord. You're walking through with them, Lord. But to hold on and not give up, Lord. So, Father God, I just thank you, Lord. Bless each and every, from the youngest to the oldest, Lord, at Northside Church of God, Lord, and everyone in between, Lord. Bless them mightily, Lord on today. And Father God, I pray for your people, my my family and friends that's all across in different states and different cities, Lord, that you will bless them, Lord. Whatever they going through on today, Lord, let them know that they can make it with you, Lord. Without you, they can't make it. All things are possible through you, Christ, that strengthens us. So Father God, I ask that you touch my family, not only my family and friends, Lord, but my enemies, Lord. I pray for them also. I lift them up high to you, Lord, that you will touch their heart, their soul, their mind, their spirit, that they will be able to forgive and to forget anybody, not just me, but whoever, that they may be holding something against, that you would just calm them, Lord, that you would let them know that it's not worth it, Lord. It is not worth it. We have work to do here on this earth for the kingdom. So we all need to come together. So Father God, help us come together. Bind us closer together, Lord. In your son Jesus' mighty name, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for each and every one tuning in. I ask that you um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my video. I'm a new YouTuber, so I ask that you subscribe to my channel to encourage your girl, Marie, to keep on doing what the Lord has called me to do, and that is to encourage you, to pray for you, to give you a word, um, to exercise, to encourage us that may have picked up weight along this pandemic, that we will be encouraged to, to get to moving, get to moving, walk, exercise, do whatever you need to do instead of sitting still. So God has given me that 
to give to you. And I just want to start by encouraging, encouraging you on this day that you can make it. And I want to uh, talk just a few minutes on thankful, being thankful, um, because I am so thankful. I am so thankful that the Lord has blessed me to see another year. He blessed me. First of all, he blessed me to see another day. And to, he blessed me to see another year on my life. And then he blessed me to see another year of marriage. So I'm thankful for that. So many people didn't wake up this morning. So many people didn't wake up on yesterday, last year, last month. But I, I am thankful. And you all that are looking at me right now, that means you should be thankful too because God blessed you to get up this morning. So let's be thankful on today. And you know what? I am so thankful for just what God has done in my life. God has blessed me. I'm not saying that I lived a great or I'm living an elaborate life. But just to know that God has a roof over my head and my family head. We have food to eat. May not be steak and potatoes and uh, all that, but he blessed us to have something to eat on today. He blesses us that I'm able to move my hands, my feet, my body. Somebody can't do that. Somebody depend on somebody to be their eyes, their ears, their mouth, their hands, and their feet. But if God has blessed you, that you're able to move your hands and see and walk and smell, taste, touch, all the senses, you need to be grateful. Grateful. We don't take, I don't take it for granted. That the Lord has blessed me to be able to do this, to be able to walk, talk, smell, touch. I'm grateful. And I know you're grateful too. I know you're grateful. So let's be grateful, thankful today. Let today be a thankful day that God has blessed us to be able to go out and to encourage someone on today that may be down, don't know how to pull their self up. But I tell you, God will place somebody in your life that needs some encouraging on today. So you get yourself up this morning, prayed up, fasted up, read up, so that you will be able to go out and you will be able to encourage someone else on today because someone out there need our encouragement today someone need our love today we can't physically hug but we can spiritually hug someone today we can physically encourage someone today without being in their face I'm not telling you to go out there and not be safe. I want you to be safe. Put your mask on and hand sanitize your hand. Wash your hand. Do all that. But God still need us out there in the world to encourage, to draw people, compel people to come to him. Because you guys, Christ is, God is coming back sooner than we think. All this is not going on um, just to be going on. I believe, I believe God allowed this to happen for a reason. So, Psalm 69 and 30 say, I will praise God's name in songs and glorify his and glorify him with thanksgiving. That's Psalm 69 and 30, y'all. And I think I need to read that again. Psalm 69 and 30 say, I will praise God's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. That's what I want to do. 
I want to pray. I love praising the Lord's name. I love glorifying him. And of course, I love giving him thanks for all that he done for little old me. He had, if God never do another word, another thing for me, Marie Sherelle, I am thankful. I am grateful. I am humbled. I love him. I love Christ with my whole heart, soul, and mind. Yes, I mess up. Yes, I get off focus a little bit, but I love him. And he gets me back on track when I get off. So if you get off track, know that it's okay. It's okay. And if you get off track, dust yourself off, pull yourself up, and start moving again because God will forgive you. If you ask for forgiveness and you mean it from your heart, God will forgive you. So all I'm saying is be thankful on today and let God use you today in somebody life. Somebody God has assigned to you on today. You may not know who that person is, but trust and lean on God and know that God know. And God got that person lined up just for you. So just be open and be willing to do what the Lord has called you to do on today. Because tomorrow is not promised to us. So we have to do what God has called us to do today. Today, today, today. So I just wanted to come on and just to share, be thankful. Let's eat that word. There's a lot of meat in that word of being thankful. So let's chew on that meat today. Thankful. 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 There's a lot in that. So let's be thankful and grateful and love on each other. Love your family. Stay in touch with your family. Call your family and your friend. Check on them. We can't physically go like we used to go to visit them, but check on them. And just let God use you. You know, sometimes people just want a listening ear. They don't want a, you to talk. They just want you to listen to them pour out of their self, their spirit, their heart. Just be a listening ear. Sometimes that's all That's all you need to do. But if God prompt you to say something or do something for that person, do it. It's okay. So on that note, I'm going to sign out because I only have a few minutes. Um, I just want to say I love you guys. I love my subscriber. And thank you for the ones that have subscribed to my channel already. Know that God is going to do great things through us. So I just want to come on and uh, just share a word with you on today. So like, comment, share, and subscribe to Marie Sherelle, your girl. Marie Sherelle. So I appreciate and comment, comment below. Tell me some things that you would like me to do on my channel that you would like to see uh, me do on my channel. But remember, it's flow. F-L-O-W. Faith. Talking about faith. We talk about love. Talk about being optimistic and, to, and witty. The W is witty. That means fun. We're going to have fun, laughter. That's what I want this channel to be about. So if you would please comment below. And I thank you in advance. God bless you. You have an awesome day. I love you with the love of Christ. And be blessed. Until the next video.